Hi everyone, welcome back to Down South Armory. I'm Sean, and today I'm bringing you a video. Gun lube sucks. Um, it's pretty much self-explanatory. You know, from the get-go, we're told that you need all these gun cleaning and gun lube products that they are because they're just for firearms that they're going to work and they're going to you know outperform anything else out there and say like in the military in the army they told us clp clp was tried true this was the gospel for gun lube i'm sorry this even though it does its job it does treat the metal, and it performs okay. It's not much difference or above rim oil. COP, it does burn off quick. You know, you have to, you do have to reapply. Now, when I've done some of these shooting classes, you know, I have to reapply every two, three, you know, three hundred rounds or so, just to make sure the weapon is maintained and performing at its optimal and it just it just seems crazy to me because you're paying what five bucks six bucks a can for this itty bitty can it doesn't last that long and rim oil i i really just use that for rust prevention on the outside of the firearms especially the ones that i don't shoot a lot like my Colt Python, my hunting rifles, things of that nature. Now, what I switched, got switched onto was uh, a guy I met at a fighting rifle class. Um, you know, he had he had a logbook of, and he kept a logbook of how many rounds he put through his AR. And I think it was something on the access on the excess of eight, nine thousand rounds. And it really didn't look like there was that much wear on it. And when I asked him what he was using, as far as a lube goes, this is what he said. Mobile One, full synthetic, high mileage, 40 weight. 10W40. And I was thinking, motor oil on a gun? That, that can't be. Because, I mean, this, this right here, that's tried, true, the gospel. When it comes to ARs. That was my mindset. And after I saw that he went pretty much all three days without relubing his weapon. And it was still running. I noticed something was there. Something was up. I, I knew he had to be on to something. So I decided to try it myself. And that's what I've been using day one. Since I bought you know, my Ruger... And some of the builds that I've done, that's all I've used. And the wear has been minimal. I've noticed that the weapon stays slick. It runs optimally. And there's no issues. And it takes a very, very small amount of it to keep the gun going. Where and it doesn't bleed off that bad. I mean, it, my one, one of my guns can stay in the gun cabinet for months, and I wipe my finger in there, and it's pretty much right where I put it. Yeah, there's a little bleeding, but nowhere near as much as CLP, and definitely nowhere near as much as rim oil. Now I know I'm going to get flack for this. People are going to say, "Well, you you shouldn't use motor oil because you know it's not meant for firearms. It's not you know." You know, it, it's good in engines, but, you know, engines have oil filters. Well, let's think about that. As you're driving, you are subjecting that engine to more revolutions and the more heat than your weapon will ever see. Period. As far as the oil filter goes, since it's getting exposed to so many, you know, revolutions and heat... Yes, the oil breaks down, so therefore you need the oil filter. Your engine takes in dirty air to keep it running. So yes, you have to have an oil filter. And let's face it, 
by the time you take in enough dirt and grit and carbon in your weapon to where this is no longer working like it should, I mean, come on. You've, you've had 10 minutes or so to wipe the weapon down, do a quick field strip, and reapply the motor oil. Now, this, I mean, let's compare the two. I've noticed on my Ruger, on my ARs, that the difference between the two of these, with this, it runs easier, the weapon's easier to charge, it's just easier to run. And it's easier to run for a longer period of time versus CLP. Now, some of y'all are going to say, well, CLP treats the metal. Yes, it does, but so does this. And from my experience, this does it better than this. And this far outseeds this that a burn off within a couple hundred rounds, you know, a hundred rounds or so. This sucks. So, I mean... We've already established I use that for rust prevention. Get it out of here. Now, as far as degreasers go, I don't like them. I don't like degreasers. Because when you degrease the metal, you're taking away all the benefits that these are doing as far as treating the metal. The only time I really ever use this is if I have really, really heavy carbon buildup. And I mainly use it in, you know, say like the my M1As as far as cleaning out the pistons, the gas pistons, and things of that nature. This hardly ever gets used. I bought this maybe a year ago, and it's still three quarters of the way full. So, yeah. Now, as far as lubing, you know, AKs, SKSs, my M1As, my Glocks, things of that nature. This is what I use. Now I can hear, I know some of y'all are having even, you know, bigger aneurysms and heart attacks. But that's, that's for cars. That's, that's not, you know, gun grease. That's not, you know, I can't even think of any other, uh, you know, say like Battleborn, gun lube, gun grease. Dude, this is a high temp, and it stays exactly where you put it. It's very abrasive, so I mean, it's slick as slick as dog shit, and it just it works, and it works as well as those other products. I've had this for about six months. Crack it open. I'll show you exactly how much I've used. Not much. So as far as guns of that nature, that's what I use. And I can already guarantee you, on my M1A, my Glocks, the wear pattern is minimal. Extremely, extremely minimal. Now there are some places I use this, even on the Glock, or on the, I'm sorry, the AR-15s. As far as the hammer catches, things of that nature. I even put a little bit on the end of the buffer because, well, let's face it, most ARs or commercial ARs and even ones you build yourself are overgassed. And that buffer is taking a beating. And I just put that on there to just give it a fighting chance, make it last a little longer. So... That's where I'm going to leave it. In versing these, these two, I would rather go with this all day long. Another reason is also saying a shit hit the fan moment. And you have to run out the door with your rifle. Yeah, you might be able to find this for a little while. Might be able to, you know, scavenge some from, you know, homes or... You know, sporting goods stores, things of like that. But eventually, this is going to wear out. And then what are you going to do? Why this? I mean, you can find this at 
any automotive store. You can find it at any gas station. And it doesn't have to be synthetic. You, I mean, you want to use conventional oil. It's going to do the same thing. It's still going to treat your metal. It's still going to protect your working and moving components. Now, I use full synthetic just because I run it in my cars. Um, one of my cars, for example, has 250,000 miles on it. And I've been using Mobile One since day one. And I've never had any major issues out of it. So that's where I stand on it. And I just thought I'd share that with y'all. And, you know, please, by all means, leave a comment saying on what your favorite lube is or even why you think I'm wrong. I mean, I'm not looking to change anybody's mind. I'm definitely not going to change my opinion and my mind on using this just because of what I've seen it do. Now, if you choose to still use CLP and other gun cleaning and gun lube products that do work, I will say it, they do work, but you're paying more for it. Then go ahead, leave a comment, let me know what you use. And as always, like, share, subscribe, it always helps. It lets me know that y'all enjoy what I'm doing. And y'all have a great day, and we'll see you next time on Down South Armory.